Hey everybody, and welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's totally free. Just hit the big red subscribe button. I put out videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays with the occasional bonus live video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make these adorable closet organizer hangers, and these are great. They work perfectly for baby clothes, even your own clothes, and you can totally use these. These make great gifts for baby showers, even wedding showers. It's just a great way to organize. I'm going to show you how to make these exact tags using a print then cut method. So let's go over to Design Space so I can show you guys how to make these. Over in Design Space, the first thing that you need to do is decide whether you want to use a pre-made tag shape or just make a square and kind of stretch it out. Let's see what we have available in the tag shapes. So we're just going to search the word tag over here in Design Space. And you can see that they have a ton of different tag selections and options. So you can absolutely use one of their shapes or make your own. It's completely up to you what you want to do. I think we'll just stick with this one because it's, eh, let's do that one. That one's pretty easy. So we're going to insert our image and I think we're going to stick with this one. I think it's a little bit better. It's a little wider. So first thing I'm going to do is make it a bit bigger because we don't want it like super small. But remember, we're doing print and cut, so it does have to fit within our section. Now, I need to get rid of the little circle because we need a bigger circle. So I'm going to click on contour and just remove the circle by clicking on it. And we will use our own shape to make a bigger hole because we need to be able to hang it from the closet rod. So we're going to go ahead and center this Oops, and not do that. <laughs> we need to select both items and we are going to align them and we want to just center them horizontally and that's just to make sure that our circle is within the center of our design. So go ahead and click on slice now because we need it to cut out our circle. You could use attach as well but I think slice for this one just gives you a better visual. The next thing that we'll need is to get a score line. The score line is going to need to go this direction. So we're going to need to have it straight up and down, like or straight side to side, which I should have used the shift key. That's my bad. So what we're going to do is go ahead and shrink this down a little bit. It doesn't really matter how big you have it, but you need it to slice out a part here so that when you put your item on your closet, you have a way to slide it on. So what we'll do is actually change our score line to a cut line. That's super easy to do. So we'll select both items and you're going to need to attach them. I try to do this in a couple steps so you guys kind of get an idea of why we're doing things that we're doing. I'm going to change the color of this. We're going to print these on white paper. So I'm going to use white. Now you can absolutely unlock this if you wanted and stretch it out a little bit and make it a little bit bigger depending on the style that you're going for. Now I found some really cute little bears on Creative Fabrica. So I found these bears. How stinking cute are they? So we're going to upload a couple of them and use those for our design. Now you're going to need to minimize that to get it out of the way. And you'll see that it looks kind of crazy. Just choose complex. You're just going to go ahead and click continue. It's totally fine. And you want to save it as a print then cut. Let's go ahead and click on save. We'll upload a couple of them. These are definitely not images that you would want to use as far as cutting is concerned because you can see how jagged the edges are. And you wouldn't want to just use this as a print then cut on its own. You need to have some sort of shape behind it. So let's go ahead and upload a couple more because we'll do a couple different styles of this. So let's find another really super cute bear. There was a super cute one down here doing something. I liked this little pink one. I thought that one was really cute. Look how cute they are. They're really fun. And these, like I said, I got these off Creative Fabrica. They do have a subscription service, which is how I got these. So again, you're going to save all these as print then cut. We'll do four of them. Hopefully they won't take too long to save. So we're going to go ahead and find another one. Now you can click browse and do it this way, which is one option. I'll show you guys really quick how to do that. So I saved mine in a folder called baby bears and you can just do it that way. And I saw another really cute bear down here that I thought was fun because we used what? Did we use the blue bear? Yeah, I'm going to try to use a couple different color bears so that they're not all the same. Again, I just select complex and then I just click continue because again, we're just saving it as a print then cut. So it's totally fine. It's not, you don't do any cleaning up or anything like that. 
And you'll see that when we go to actually print these, you won't have to worry about any of these jagged edges or little strange pieces. So let's find a yellow bear. I don't think we have this one. Let's do this little yellow bear and we'll hit complex. Again, you're just gonna hit continue and save. Super easy to do. It's not anything too, too crazy. These are really easy, especially when you're saving as print and cut. So let's go ahead and select all four of our bears and we are gonna go ahead and insert them. Now the insert could take a moment or two just because the print and cut does take up a little bit more information to get it to come across. So you may need to wait just a moment. Now, as you can see, they are absolutely giant. So I'm gonna go ahead and just size them way, way down so they are much smaller. All I did was come up here to where the size is and I just clicked on five and that way it sized it down without me having to do anything. I'm gonna do that to all of our bears just so that we can get them all small so we can see them and we don't have to drag them around and try to fit them on the screen. So we're just gonna go ahead and just make all of them five. Now we are gonna resize them down even more because you can see they're still way too big for our design. Let's start with this cute little guy on with his little umbrella. We're gonna go ahead and put him right down here. And what we'll do is we're gonna do a text. Now the first thing actually before I do that, I wanna make sure to duplicate my tag a couple times so that I have enough of them to do the rest of my bears. So go ahead and slide those to the side. So now we need a text and we're just going to go from, we'll do a zero to three month size and you can do whatever font you want. However design you want to do them, you can color the font. We're just going to pick a really easy to read font because Lord knows as a mom, you just kind of want to be in and out and done and get the baby dressed and be done with life. And that is why we're going to use something super easy to read. And that's why these dividers are so handy to have. Now make sure you do click on the actual design. So now you can kind of resize everything a bit, depending on how big you want your items to be. I think that looks pretty good. So the one thing that we need to do now is to make sure that we save this wording as print. So go up to fill and click on print. And what we're going to do is select the entire design and click on the word flatten. Now it's going to look like this white is kind of gone, especially if you don't have your grid lines on. It looks like it just disappeared, but it's still there and it's super easy. You can absolutely see it. So we're just going to scoot him out of the way. We don't need him anymore. And then we're going to come over here and we'll do another one. And this one we will do three to six months. And then we'll choose another bear. And this is all you have to do through the whole thing. So you can do each one of these just like this. It's really easy to do and it's super fun. And these make awesome baby shower gifts. You can personalize them any way that you'd like with the baby's name if you wanted to. And you see how this guy ends up in the back behind our tag? What you can simply do is click on your tag and click send to back. And now you can see your little bear and resize him to the size you want him to be so that he fits on the tag and he looks cute. I think that one's pretty good. So we'll select the whole thing and you're going to click on flatten again. Get this one out of the way. We don't need it. And we'll go to our next one. Now we're going to do the same thing. Six to nine months. And you'll note that my text stays in the same font, which is super helpful. So if you want to change your fonts, you can, but if you just want them all to look really uniform, it holds your font. So then we're going to select this bear. Now this guy, I'm going to send him to front. So you're going to right click on him, click send to front, and we're just going to make him way smaller. He's a lot taller than the other bears. So we may not be able to fill as much of our tag with him as the others, but he's still really cute. So now what we're going to do is click on flatten. The nice thing is as soon as you click flatten, you are good to go. So go ahead and slide that down. And then we will do one last one of nine to 12 months. And you can go as far into this as you want. You can do as many months as you need to or want to. It doesn't matter. It's all personal preference. If you'd like to make them a couple years worth or just for the first year, you can absolutely do that. You could do this for your own closet or for older kids. We're gonna go ahead and send this bear to the front as well. And again, he's a little bit taller than the other ones, so he may not fit as well. I think that looks a little off, so we'll move him over and down a little bit. I think that one looks really good. Select all and flatten. Now we're gonna go ahead and click on make it. And I'll show you what our make it screen looks like. Now, because of our size, you're not gonna be able to fit more than one design per card stock piece. 
it's okay, it's totally fine, no big deal. But you'll see that each of our cards is on our page. Super easy, really fun, and it looks like, again, that you have no background, but I promise that you do. So what we'll do now is hit continue, and it's going to ask us to send it to our printer. You're going to click on send to printer, and it's going to ask you which printer you'd like to send it to, how many you want, and whether you want your bleed on. For something like this, the bleed doesn't matter one way or the other, so you can absolutely leave it on. Once you've printed your first sheet, you'll need to select your second sheet and click send it to printer. And it's going to just ask you the same stuff, where you want to send it, how many copies, and bleed. Click on print, and it'll print over on your printer. You need to do that for each of your sheets. So now that you've printed them all out, you are going to want to, to cut them out. So select whichever one you're going to cut out. It doesn't completely matter. Um, you can absolutely choose any of them. It's, it's fine. For some reason, this one has been giving me trouble, so I'm going to have to just cut it on one of these other ones, and it won't matter. Now, I am using kind of a heavy cardstock, so what I'm going to do is go to Browse All Materials, and I'm going to slide down here to where we have our cardstock options and see if heavy cardstock is there because it is pretty heavy. So we're going to go ahead and do that one, and I'm going to put this on more pressure just because I do believe it's heavier than 100 pound. Let's go over to the machine, and I'll show you guys a little bit cutting. So because all of our tags, the outsides are the same, it doesn't matter which tag you load in to cut. It's going to cut around it regardless of which one you load. So we'll go ahead and load our mat. You'll note that I do have this. The edge of your paper needs to be against the edge of your grid, both on the side and at the top. When you hit the go button, it is going to take your, your mat all the way in, push it back out, and a little light comes on inside of your machine, and that is reading these cut lines. Remember, if you have the Explore, it typically only works on really light colored cardstock. With the Maker, you can cut on different colored cardstock. That's one of the bonuses to having the Maker. Again, this is a 100 pound or possibly plus cardstock, and it's just white. I thought that would look nicest with our little bears, but you can absolutely print on a different color with the Maker. So what it's going to do now is it's taking our tool and making sure we have the right tool in. Your Explorer will just start cutting. So it's going to go ahead and cut around our tag. And you'll see that it's going to cut out our circle. And then it will cut out our little line, I think. And it or might, nope, apparently it's going to cut out the outside. Sometimes it throws me off and sometimes I think it's going to do something and then it does something totally different. So we're going to let this guy cut. Once it's done, we'll unload it and I'll show you the finished design. And then I'll get the rest of these all cut out. And like you said, because they're all the exact same shape, you can absolutely just very simply cut them out all at once. I hope you guys had a fun time learning how to make these adorable closet dividers with your Cricut. You can be super creative, make these themed to any baby nursery that you would like to. You can even make them for yourself as an adult. I have a couple in my closet that separate things like my sweaters and my t-shirts and my sweatshirts and things like that. It really helps you keep a little bit more organized. And again, these make awesome baby shower gifts or if you're gonna go over and visit the new mom and dad, these make a great gift for that as well. They're super easy to do, really inexpensive, and you can have such a good time making these super personalized. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I am always happy to answer those for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays with the occasional bonus live video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and happy crafting.